Hey everybody, it's Kayak Cliff. I have a little bit different video for you today. I'm doing a review. Uh, the people at Lifetime were nice enough to send me this brand new kayak that is launching here in June of 2023. And this is a the Emotion Cabrio 11 sit-inside kayak. So, you know, what's, what's so different about a 11-foot sit-inside kayak, kayak clip, you ask? <laughs> well, this one is, trust me, it's a little bit different. And I'm filming you today. I have the GoPro mounted to my boat. So if there's any wobble in the camera, uh, that's not the cameraman, that's the boat wobbling. So, why is it called the Cabrio? Well, I'm going to put the paddle in the paddle leash here, and I'm going to grab these levers, and it is a cabriolet. It is a sit on top. It is a sit on top kayak, or it is a sit in side kayak. Now, again, if you know cars, you know uh, cabriolet is short, is, uh, is the longer version for uh, convertible, and that's what this kayak is, and that's pretty creative. So on this episode today, I'm going to walk you through this kayak. We're going to be on the water with it, and I'm going to also stand here in the water and talk you through all the key functions, features, and benefits of this kayak. So without further ado, let's get started. That's my cameraman today. It's the camera's mounted to the uh, the canopy rail for my bimini top on my Boston Whaler. So, yeah, I think it's working pretty good. It's uh, 100 degrees here in Texas today, and I figured I don't want to be on the shoreline doing a review. I want to be in the water, so that's what I am. So let's get this started. Okay, so the Emotion Cabrio 11 kayak. It is 30 inches wide. So it's got good stability. Uh, typically for a good performing kayak, you want to be 28 to 30 inches wide. That's kind of the sweet spot for being, uh, for just a recreational kayak and something that's not going to be a tank or a barge to paddle. So again, 30 inches wide, it's 11 feet long. Its capacity is 250 pounds. Now it has a paddle leash right here. Uh, it does not come with a paddle. This is my paddle. <laughs> but uh, the paddle leash, you can see, it holds it there real nice for when you want to take that top and throw it off and get into the water real easy. Um, it has, up in the front, very nice grab handles up on the bow and on the stern of the kayak. Uh, this kayak, with the top on it, it weighs 68 pounds. Now, that's a little hefty. Uh, if you want to carry it, if, if you've got some good strength, you can put it up on your shoulder and carry it. It's a little hefty to do that, but if you want to do a one-person carry, that's going to be the way to carry this. The way it operates is, see these levers right here? When I take that lever and undo that one, and I do the same lever on the other side, boom, it comes off. And then to put it on, all I'm going to do is take this top and put it into this little this little black clip here. I'm going to slide it in under the clip. I'm going to lower it down. I'm going to latch it into place. And again, here you can see, there's the latch. It just goes inside and locks. And it is solid. Now, this is not a watertight kayak. Um, if you flip this, you know, water can get in and these seams into the boat, but not to worry. I'll show you when I take the top off and we get to that portion of the video. Uh, so there's self-draining scupper holes in this kayak. And all that means is water that goes in drains out and you're not gonna fill up the boat and sink it, impossible. So uh, moving on, you have some real nice uh, bow rigging 
that you can put dry bags or anything that you want to put here for day use. It also has a quarter 20 threaded area to put a fishing rod holder, a cup holder, or a camera holder, which is what I'm going to do later when I'm actually paddling this. Here's how this media mount works. This is a camera holder of mine. See, it has a quarter 20 thread screw thread. All I do is push up underneath and just screw it on and uh, there that's locked really really nice that they put this multimedia holder on here and it's just a quarter 20 thread so anything that you can screw a quarter 20 uh, screw thread into again rod holders cup holders camera holders that'll work right there uh, moving back to the stern again I mentioned before it does have the uh, real nice paddle holder and all that is it's a little groove right here and the paddle fits in the groove and boom it just locks over it's real simple um, moving back to the stern you have some nice uh, stern rigging as well and this is a rear tank well and this rear tank well is um, you know you can put your cooler and you can stretch this over you know whatever you're going to carry around for the day now there's two scupper holes in here as well and let me show you what I mean by that. Scupper holes are just holes in the hull of the boat. And here, I'm going to put some weight on the back. See how water goes in? Okay, now I'm going to raise it back up. Boom. The water drains out. And there's a rear drain plug, so if water ever should get inside this hollow hull, you can drain it out this way by opening up this air hole so it'll breathe and then water when you tip it upside down will flow right out of here because what this is is two pieces of plastic with a hollow cavity inside and that is a air filled cavity that gives you buoyancy now as a sit inside kayak another feature that i like underneath this uh underneath this lid that makes it into a sit inside kayak one thing I like, it's got a, a nice little camera or phone holder, just a, a little tank well, right? A little uh, storage compartment. So you can put a phone or whatever you want just sitting right there and it's ready uh, for you at a moment's notice if you need to grab it. That is awesome because if you're out paddling, it's like, boom, there's a bird you want to get a shot of. Ah, just pull it right out and you're, and you're going. Uh, you don't have to worry about dropping your camera in the water or your phone or any of your valuables. And there's a lot of extra room instead of just the phone. I mean, you can put all types of stuff in here. It's probably, oh, about uh, three inches tall by about five inches wide. Now, one thing talking about the exterior as well, uh, the Emotion line of kayaks is made by Lifetime. And I think every house in America has plastic products made by Lifetime. And one thing I've noticed is on the outside plastic products, like they make sheds, uh, outdoor storage sheds, and any, all, all, I think they even have kids with play equipment. I'm not positive, but um, no, I've noticed that anything that I've had lifetime that sits out in the sun, it really retains its shape, its color. It doesn't peel or crack. I, I've seen stuff out there 10 years and it, and it does well. Well, they, uh, they, impregnated or you know put into this kayak a uv inhibitor or protectant uh that that keeps it from the uv rays now i'm not saying you should always keep your kayak out in the sun that's taboo for me i never do that i even uh, protect my plastic products with formula 303 uh protectant which is a uv sunscreen for plastic but uh, anyway the time that it does spend in the sun is protected with uv protection now, one of the last things I'll mention as a sit inside kayak before we move to the sit on top features is, you know, when one thing I noticed, a lot of sit inside kayaks that I sit in, not all of them, uh, the ones that I use don't have this problem. The ones that did have this problem, I got rid of, um, is when you sit inside it, there's plenty of room for my feet. Now, I'm six foot and I have a size 11 shoe. And my feet vertically, like when I'm sitting inside here, a lot of times you have to kind of orient your feet this way or you have to contort them because you can't comfortably have them stick up like you would when you sit down with your with your toes up uh, plenty of room in here no problem at all now why would you want this as a sit inside or a sit on top kayak well it's a hybrid 
And a hybrid's gonna do a lot of different things. Uh, in the colder months, Maybe you don't want, uh, maybe you want a little bit more warmth. Uh, or in the hotter months when it's sunny, maybe you want the protection of uh, keeping the sun off of your legs. Sit insides are awesome for that. It keeps the sun off your legs, so you only have to put, well, if you have a sun top, a sun hat, you know, sun gaiter around your neck and your legs up underneath, well, you don't need any sunscreen, uh, very little. Um, but, uh, that's nice, and then in the winter time, if it's a little cool, it's a little breezy, you wanna keep your legs warm, just close up the scupper holes so water doesn't come up inside, and if it's a nice calm day, you can paddle no problem, not worry about getting cold and you know your legs open to the, exp you know, the exposure of the elements. But it's summertime, and uh, for me, that means paddling without a top. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in my boat. That's why I brought the boat because I wanted somewhere to put my stuff. So let's put the uh, paddle back in here. So with the Cabrio 11 as they sit on top, well, you know, because I took the lid off, the lid comes in right here or the top part of the kayak comes in right here. So it's not affected by the carry handle. So you have the same carry handles in the bow and the stern of the kayak. Uh, moving back, you have a, uh, a real nice, uh, a, a real nice uh, area that you can put a water bottle. There's no bungee cord, but when I put that bottle there, it really forms to the shape of most 20 ounce water bottles. And it doesn't, doesn't move around at all. And I like that. Um, they've made the, um, the foot positions uh, very intuitive and very easy. All they did is mold uh, foot rests into the kayak. So if you're a six foot person like me, you're gonna sit here and your feet might be here or here, here or here. If you're a five foot two, you're gonna sit here and your feet might be here or here. You can kind of put your feet and lock them in to the different areas real easy to give you a, a nice uh, good vantage point for your legs while you're paddling. Now, I had mentioned before the scupper holes. These are the two holes in the hull that water will self-drain out of here. So say if water, take a bunch of water over, it is draining out like the water in your bathtub when you pull the plug. Now again, these are the scupper plugs. Uh, there's a little leash for them so they don't get lost. They're locked into the hull of the boat. Uh, if you wanna keep water from getting in, all you do is you push them down. There's no screwing or anything. You just push them down, they're rubber and it's uh, like putting a cork on a wine bottle. There's nothing coming in. Now, if water comes in over the edge, well, let's let it, let's get some more water. Okay, water comes in over the top, boom, pull them out. Now there's no weight in the boat, but as you put a passenger in here, uh, this forward water will go back and it'll drain out of there. And why does that happen? Well, the hole, is a little higher than the water line uh, to the kayak. Now the seat, um, not a whole lot to write home about on the seat. Uh, a very nice padded back that conforms to your back and you can adjust it, the back, how far forward or backward it is by, by adjusting this strap right here. Now, as far as the uh, pad, not a lot of right to write home about on the pad. I guess the thickness is about like that. Uh, it, it's comfortable for an hour, hour and a half. You know, then you want to get up and stretch your legs. If you want a little bit more padding, I always recommend just getting a stadium, you know, one of the little rectangular stadium seat pads that you put on a stadium bleacher to keep your butt uh, comfortable. Just plop that on there and you'll get a little extra padding. Okay, as far as carrying this, they say this is a uh, carry handle for the kayak. I, I don't know that that's, yeah, I guess it is. It's a place to put your hand if you want to carry it up over your shoulder like this. Um, otherwise, it's a two-person carry uh, when it doesn't have the top on it. Um, it'd be nice if there was some type of handle here to hold on to. But this, this kind of works here. I just pick it up and put your hand right underneath that and you can carry it uh, not too hard, about 56 pounds. Now, of course, with the top off, the top comes and rests in the back right here. So the tank well is still the same. Still the same storage, still the same grab handle in the stern like you have in the bow. And again, this could be a two-person carry like so. 
or really this this grab handle doesn't work too bad uh, just get it up on your shoulder it's a good place to put your hand okay let's flip this kayak over one thing that's really nice it has a very sharp uh, V into the hull, and this is going to slice through the water very efficiently and very nice and this uh, this this uh, this V actually extends down the length of the boat and when you get to the stern of the boat uh, you have the same exit V in the hull. So this this helps the kayak track really nicely when you paddle. It's going to go straight. When you stop paddling, it's going to keep on going straight. It also has these integrated chines built into it that give it stability. And uh, you see the angles in the hull right here as well. Uh, these chines and the chines underneath give it, again, really nice stability. Uh, it's not an unstable kayak and you're going to feel very secure in it. At least I do. Now here's this Kayak 4. This is for the recreational paddler that wants maximum versatility. Uh, you know, you can fish out of it, you can just tour out of it, you can just go out for the day. Uh, you might even be able to do some light camping with it if you don't load it up too heavily and you're not too heavy of a paddler. But um, uh, this is available. They say it's being priced, uh, at Lifetime they say it's being priced at $549. Uh, and it's only available right now. It launches next week about the it's like the third week of June. It's launching so it's only going to be available at the beginning at publiclands.com Again publiclands.com uh, That is an outdoor reseller. Uh, they're actually owned by Dick's Sporting Goods So I wouldn't be surprised if you see it at Dick's at some point uh, This will be in many more retailers, but that's going to be the first retailer that's going to have it So you can order it online for $5.49, which I really think is a good deal because of all that you get with this kayak Now I'm just going to do a wet entry into the kayak sit on tops are so easy to get in when you're out at the uh, the lake or the water and uh, if you're actually swimming and you can't touch the bottom just reach over to the opposite side of the kayak and right now I, I can touch here but I'm not I don't have my feet on the ground and then just pull yourself up shimmy yourself up inside it and you're in so getting into the kayak if you should flip it which you're not it's a stable kayak you only you're only going to flip this if you want to uh, see I'm going to lean I'm actually leaning. This is this is primary stability, and primary stability is just the general stability you feel when you're in the kayak. Secondary is how far can you get it up on the side, and it still stays stable. And I'm I'm pretty far on the side now. At some point, it's going to go over, and oh, that's secondary stability. And secondary stability was very good in this kayak. Uh, you really need to lean it to the side to make it flip. If you like this video, like and subscribe to my channel. I do mainly adventure videos, but uh, I do like to do product review videos from time to time. And uh, this is unbiased. They just sent me this kayak. Uh, I don't get any money for it. I'm not an affiliate for them. Um, but uh, if you would like to see the products that I do like and use and I'm an affiliate for, go to kayakcliff.com. Kayakcliff.com has all of my paddling products that I like to use and I keep adding products to it. Uh, these are high quality products, products that will last you a lifetime, products that will work very well for you. And uh, if you do like them and you do purchase them, click on the picture on my website of the product. That will take you to my affiliate link at that manufacturer's website. And it gets my channel just a little bit money back so I can help fund these videos. And, uh, you know, I really, I really appreciate you watching this and coming along with me as I explore this new kayak. Again, it launches here in June of 2023. It's exciting to be asked to look at something. Uh, I don't always get asked like that, to look at something that's coming out. And uh, it's really exciting to be able to take you guys through it and show you what I think about it. Because I know a lot of people are looking for kayaks that are, that are unique uh, or that uh, are, are, are hybrid styles that they can do lots of different things with. And I think you can do that with the Cabrio kayak. kayak. So. Anyway, God's blessings to you and your families. Thank you for watching, 
and we'll see you next time on a video. Kayak Cliff out.